Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm in the garage and I've been still working on this little transmitter and uh, yeah I did have a small burn up on the circuit board. This capacitor here, this ceramic one, must have been short circuit because as soon as I applied power to the circuit board it went up in smoke. This little suppression capacitor here. Uh, well it's just a pile of dust now. <laughs> There's the capacitor. That's what's left of it. It went up in smoke. Ceramic so it must have been short circuit. Anyway the um, the circuit it can, it can be unstable on your construction but I think we've seen a metal box and you've not got your hands near it and it's screened it'll be much better. Uh, I've found it needs a lot of filtering on the power lines and this is for the amp the audio amplifier here I've got um, ceramic capacitors um, electrolytic capacitors I've got an inline choke in the power line just to the audio amplifier and then the input connections I've got a 100 picofarad across it stop RF getting into there and there's an extra capacitor there on the output side and then one thing or another uh, I do find uh, the output needs to have some sort of load on it and what I've got here I've got a 100 ohm resistor and the capacitor this is the output so it's like a dummy load however the output from this transistor is high impedance so what I'm going to do or I'm started to do is build a ballon for the output stage and this is what I'm building now and I, because it's such a very small ferrite um, and it's up to 250 meg it will go up to this ferrite uh, I'm actually put some glue on the winding because I haven't got enamel copper wire I've only got insulated copper wire so I've got this round here like this for the time being this glue and this glue actually shrinks and goes off I've got to put the Achoo. Oh, blimey, dusty there. Got to put the uh, secondary winding into that gap there. So I've just got the uh, output winding, if you see what I mean. And I'll do that. And that, that'll go on here. And then this will match high impedance to 50 ohm. So I can run coax for my test equipment because it's going to be for testing stuff, not for actually. Um, using as a transmitter as such. I want a 50 ohm output that way it matches all my frequency counters etc. So that's the plan. I've got some more ferrites here. These yellow ones are not there for switch mode power supplies. The brown ones are for radio ones and I just happen to have those left over. And uh, yeah I've got to put a little ceramic where that blue one is now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and that'll make a lot of difference to the circuit and I want to replace this capacitor when up in smoke. Doing some more to the um, FM AM transmitter or exciter whatever you like to call it and what I've done is I've tidied up the boards I've bought a smaller um, capacitor there across the audio input which is from that socket I've tidied up the power coming in I've got a switch to add to it I've got a socket to add to the RF output and I've got two switches actually because I might switch the audio on and off I don't know uh, the ballon is coming on very nicely I'm having to glue it uh, I haven't got enamel copper wire, this is plastic covered wire and um, the, the wires don't hold in place very well so I've actually uh, used wood glue and glued it to the ferrite. I've still got to do this winding here through the centre. It's got to go two turns I think if I remember right. And what I've done here is I've actually, these boards were separate and to keep them tidier and to 
make sure the earth is common between the two boards I've joined the boards together with this this is um, connection strip or pins and uh, what I've done I've broke it in twos like that cut it off in twos and soldered one there one there and one there so all the common earths between this board and that board are joined now so I've only had to put a power, positive power lead from one board to the other and the audio there so it's made like the one board oh we can see that so they're now joined between the two and it's just the earth I've joined across by snipping this stuff and putting it across the middle so that's now joined those two boards I think what I'll do for this I might mount this on a piece of copper strip so it goes across here and I've got some copper strip left over from projects see it just there whoops emptying the bag everywhere so I might use a bit of this let me empty the bag out this is what I make my low pass come on out this is what I make my low pass filters from you know I put that on there and that on there and then when I won't wind the coils this is just a demonstration I put them like that so I might put that on there and just have that on the end of these boards uh, might do not sure yet um, I've got capacitors in now I've got these capacitors but really for this low power they're not needed so that may be a possibility the transformer here um, I may use for modulation levels by because it's still connected to the audio I might use those two terminals there on the secondary with a diode feeding a little power meter so I've got the indi indication of audio level um, it's just an idea whether that will work I don't really know I haven't got a small meter to try it this is the uh, output transformer and uh, I've just um, finished winding it and I'm just trying to sort out the gluing looks like if I'm not careful it's going to be glued to the vise so let me just uh, move that sorry about that I just had to move it Still, the glue's running I put too much on it be all right because it shrinks so that possibly is going to cause going to be all right don't like using super glue because if that runs everywhere you can't get it off I can always rewind that this former if necessary right <clears throat> back to this board um, yep yeah, see if I can get a better picture of it I'll probably take it in the natural daylight there we go so that's the board two boards joined together see the screen cable going there to the audio amplifier transformer the microphone stages the choking power supply this is the smoothing or filtering on the audio power supply uh, turn it over to see where I join the boards uh, see if I can buy a case for it now so thanks for watching um, it's going to be a few weeks before I do another video relating to this so please subscribe and like